Welcome back to Diecast Cars. So this is what highway hunting looks like in 2023. Black boxes, 16 count each, showing up at your door. And we're going to dig into all three of these just to see what the odds are of getting a super treasure hunt. So you guys know my stance on these black boxes. I feel like it's a little bit of a money grab from Mattel and Hot Wheels standpoint. Essentially taking away from the traditional going out to the retail stores and hunting, putting in the grind and the work to find super treasure hunts. And it does, in all honesty guys, I know there's a lot of pushback on this thought, but there is definitely going to be an impact to the hobby overall. I mean, if you just go and look at Amazon.com right now, A case black boxes all the way through D case black boxes are all still available for pre-order. And it doesn't look like these are limited. I mean, you can go back and buy these. I believe the limit is three per account, but you can go back and buy these as many times as you want, guys. So. Like I said in my previous video, the quantities of Hot Wheels and Super Treasure Hunts for this year are definitely higher than they've been in the past. So getting into box number one, wish me luck guys, hopefully there's a super in every single one of these boxes. Alright, so we'll go through each one of these cars separately here. So starting in the back, you got the coupe clip in the black and gold variation. Looks pretty nice, kind of reminds me of the Liberty Walk Sylvia, which I also believe is in this box. Got the Pontiac Firebird in the blue. Looks good, open hood. That's what I was talking about, the Liberty Walk Nissan Sylvia S15, black and gold. There it is, Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Very fitting blue with the white wheels. Very realistic. I know this was a combination that was very popular among the Subaru community. So you're definitely getting fantasy cast in these boxes. So we got the Eruption, purple and pink. Got the black and yellow Grand Sport Corvette. Let me just prop this box up so it doesn't keep closing. We got the all white Pagani Huayra Roadster. Another awesome fantasy cast. You got the Roadster Bite. I wonder if this is a spinoff of the Roadster. Interesting. All right, so I see the classic TV Batmobile here. We'll leave that as a, a last review just to see if we do get the super. Demichini Veloce in green. Nissan Patrol with the turbo sticking out of the hood. Ford Escort RS2000, new for 2023 in the white color. Got a cool looking chocolate caramel bus here. Surfing school bus. New for 2023. I know this one was a little bit sought after and a lot of wow factor when it was uh, released, but you got the Dragon Wagon, new for 2023. Ford Sierra Cosworth, red recolor. And then a carryover from last year, but the Hot Wheels kit concept, I believe it's, it's got a little bit of a color variation to it. I think there's more silver down below. The base is obviously silver and it's got this orange front end so that's different from the first edition from last year all right so moment of truth guys did we get the super treasure hunt box number one and that's a quick reveal guys nope looks like we got the basic batmobile here but on to the next box all right second time's a charm box number two here we go let's see what these odds are all right, so we kind of know the mix. It kind of looks all the same here. So I'm going to get just right to it. Batmobile, fast reveal again. Nope, got another basic mainline, classic Toon TV series Batmobile. No Spectre Flame. No Flame logo on the card. Not a treasure hunt. Just take a quick peek here again. Yeah, it looks like it's all the same mix. 
Got the Liberty Walk. The Code Clip. All right, well, box number three. Fingers crossed, guys. Last box, Magic. Can we pull a Hail Mary and get that Super in the last box? So this mix is a little different. Well, at least how their range is different. I think all the cars are the same. But usually the Batmobile is right up on top here. So again, you got the kit concept, the Ford, Sierra Cosworth. So just looking straight for the Batmobile. And I see it all the way in the corner here. Oh boy, disappointment. Three duds, three dud black boxes. Just goes to show it's not a sure thing. So let's just take a look at the 16 cars out of this mix a black box here and the question i'm hit with right now is is it worth it so 16 main lines and let's just play the game of worst case scenario you don't get the super treasure hunt right you're paying about a dollar 60 a car the black box costs about 26 27 dollars out the door a case has already been around since around about that december time frame I know I've come across majority of these cars already. The funny thing about these tuned black Batmobile cars as well too is that they came about six to seven per A case, which was very strange. I know a lot of people noted that and there was an excess of them just sitting on the pegs. Nobody wanted to touch them. But just looking at the cars that come out of the A case, there's nothing really giving me that wow factor other than maybe the Sylvia S15. I will say that it wasn't very easy finding these. It was kind of hit or miss. So that's maybe the one bright spot, if anything. Now, if you are able to get the Super Treasure Hunt, in this case, the classic TV series Batmobile, the tune version, I'll admit it does look pretty good in that red Spectre Flame paint. Currently right now, secondary market, it's selling for about $40 shipped. And that would definitely cover your $26 that you're paying for Amazon for the black boxes. And then you do get a smorgasbord of main lines as a bonus. That would be the ideal situation, giving you a little bit of profit and a bunch of free cars. But again, at that $26 price point for 16 cars, I'm gonna say this is an easy pass. I probably won't be buying a case again. And these black boxes are literally super treasure hunt or bust. I will say Hot Wheels was able to capture that heartbreak of opening dud cases one after another at the retail stores. So definitely kudos to Mattel and Hot Wheels for that. But the difference with these black boxes, guys, is that I have the accessibility to these black boxes. I mean, even as of right now, these black boxes, even the A case version, still available. Limit of three per purchase, but again, they're available. You can go and purchase them at will, as many as you want. I will also note that my buddy actually got his three in as well, too. And I know out of his, he got two supers, so if you think about it, let's just play the odds game here. There was six boxes total between me and a buddy, and there were two super treasure hunts, so that's about 33% hit rate for a super treasure hunt. So again, small sample quantity, but I would say that that is a good assessment of what your odds are of pulling a super out of these black boxes. So again, welcome to the future guys, 2023, super treasure hunt hunting right at your doorstep. This was A case. I do have some C case on pre-order as well too. We'll skip B, I'm not a huge fan of the Mercedes Benz. I'm not even actually a huge fan of the Toon Batmobile, but I really just bought this to share with you guys and just see what the odds are. What are we getting ourselves into this year? But let me know how you did on your black boxes. Let me know if you got them in, if you were already able to pull any of the super treasure hunts, if your mixes looked any different than mine, if you're able to even pull the treasure hunt. Now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't even pull one of those. But let me know down in the comments, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.